Hey guys, welcome back. This is officially round two of our community picks. I know I said that in the last one, but it was because it was my pick and it was the second game. Um, no, nope, I'm gonna start that over again because I'm gonna have a fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> here to talk about today is round two of community picks the official round two of community picks i didn't actually have a pick this time around because the vote was so close how I, close was it it was within one percent <laughs> i think it was 41 versus 40 or 40. it was it was one percent yes it was one percent yeah. so what i played this month was horizon zero dawn and now we're gonna go ahead and talk about it Let's talk about it yeah so you're gonna talk about your game playthrough. We do have a bit of criteria here. We have seven categories we're yeah. gonna go over. So your first category, how was the story? Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I am not tech I'm not I'm not usually a big fan of open world games just because I have a really hard time with something not being linear to having a natural end. Too many options. Really. Too many options. When you have an open world game, there is more story. There's way more to explore. Yes, there's more layers of the story, yeah. more developments in the entire game. All these side quests can actually help it, develop the lore of yes, the character. Yes, exactly. So first off, right out the gate, you're Aloy. You kind of are adopted by Rost. Um, those are the two main characters. I would say there's a third main character, Silence. He comes in a little bit later in the game, but it felt like those were the three main characters to me. The story is, he adopts you. You have no mother. You're an outcast, so you grow up as an outcast, never really having a place within this Nora tribe. You are on your own. You and Rost are basically shunned from the entire tribe. It so you've had to learn to survive on your own. You've really had to learn to just have each other in this world. So the whole the whole lead up to the first part of the game is that you're going to compete in the proving. And then if you win, so this is what your training's been all about your entire life, is to compete in this proving to get anything you want. And what Aloy wants more than anything is to know where she came from. Because she doesn't know. Okay. She just knows she has no mother. You have questions. Question. Yeah. So, how long before? Because that feels like when that's that's when the game kind of actually starts. The storyline starts. Is, am I understanding that right? The the whole proving part is kind of a build up to the actual game. Okay. And how long is that? I probably spent a good couple hours in that first oh, okay. part of the story that's before not bad. It, before it really opens up and then you're yeah. given the reins to go and do your own thing. Yep. So up until that point, it's not really open world. It's kind of a linear, like you have to get through this part of the game before you actually start the Does game. Does that act like training to learn how to use the controls and it does a little yeah. bit but um i had watched some gameplay uh some reviews of this game because i wanted to get my thoughts out because this is a really <clears throat> from other people i've talked to they've really loved this game so i want to do it justice so i actually watched happy consoles gamer uh first thoughts of the game and i tend to agree with him that they just kind of throw you in there okay. they throw you into the world and it's not really difficult at first, so you're learning as you go, which I kind of like because I hate having to do a whole training thing before you can start the game. I'm just like, let me do it. I'll figure it out. Just let me do it. But the story really develops through the entire game. There is a lot of side quests. You do find out what your main focus is in the game. And I know the game's almost four years old, but I don't want to really give away any spoilers. No, we always have to do this without spoilers. Because yeah. there's games that I'm playing for the first time that are like 20 years old, and then I don't want them spoiled. Yeah. Right? And that's why I don't go look at reviews before I play games. Yeah. That's so the, the whole point of the story is to find out how you came to be here and what your background is. And it is really, really interesting. There were some lulls in the middle <clears throat> for me. But overall, like it, the story developed really nicely okay. and I enjoyed it. The next point is difficulty. I think the game is not difficult on a whole. 
depending on your play style. You can make it more difficult I on mean, yourself. I there's probably different, like, casual, normal. There is, and difficult. I think I played on normal. Normal? I didn't play on the easiest setting. I played on normal. I don't find there's yeah. much difference between easy, normal, and then maybe once you get, well, be in between each step, like, from easy to, like, difficult or hard there will be, there will a, be a, gap. a huge gap yeah but from easy to normal well they just... always get me with that do you yeah. want to experience just the story or do you want a balanced experience and then yeah. I go normal because it says I'll have a more balanced experience and I get sucked into that so, I don't know that there was a big difference. for myself from easy to normal I find that you just need to get more resources, resources just yeah. in order to get through the game yeah whereas easy you just the bare minimum you don't have to scavenge nearly as much yeah. to spend as much time doing that and the and then the fights are a little bit easier obviously because you won't need as much ammo that's true that's true yeah. so um it it wasn't difficult i do enjoy playing stealth and there's a lot of stealth elements in this game if you try to run and gun this game you're going to get taken down by machines like they will overwhelm you challenge accepted well you could try but i don't it's not <laughs> something i suggest it you have to really find out about your environment like you'll either be fighting machines yeah. or you'll be fighting like enemy tribes so if you're fighting enemy tribes you could probably go in and run and gun it a bit but with the machines they all have their different strengths and weaknesses so depending on the machine you're going to fight it differently you're going to use okay. different things like you have fire arrows you have things that can freeze you have melee attacks so it just depends on that enemy. Depends on their weaknesses? Yeah. Okay, so... It also depends on their strength, too, because if you fight them with one thing that they're not vulnerable against, you're basically wasting your resources. Yeah. You're wasting ammunition for nothing. So when you're telling me that... When you first said there, there's there's tribes, like humans, and then there's yeah. also robots. Yeah. That automatically makes me think of like a zombie game or something like that, and then typically the humans are a bigger pain in the ass, but not in this one? No. No? No. The, the humans are definitely easier to take out. The humans, now you do have human and machine, where the humans control the machines, and that makes it difficult. I don't know, your phone controls you. Shut up. <laughs> you don't want to kind of signal the humans by fighting the machines or vice versa. You have to really plan it out. Well, you'd want to take out the guy that's controlling the machine, wouldn't you? It still doesn't matter. They're already under the control, but if you take out a human oh, and it so, alerts a machine or vice okay, versa, so then you have to worry when about When you them. say, I, I, I literally thought like the guy is sitting there like a mad scientist with this big no, controller there no. he's controlling the machine but no, no you actually t can okay. take over a machine you have this like i don't know big staff and then you stab it into the machines and you can overtake it and you can control it at, and she has the same abilities but not against the big machines it's something you have to find and develop uh in different parts of the game so the difficulty be, oh, difficulty overall, it can be as difficult or as easy as you want it to be, depending on your game style. I think it would be a little bit challenging for you because you want to run and gun. Gameplay was amazing. Um, Dennis and I were talking about this a little bit. He just wished there would have been different, um, more places to put different uh, weapons in like a quick yes because there wasn't as many places to put your weapons you basically had up down left right yeah. and you could put them there your trip caster and your bow and stuff now you did have like fire arrows or this arrow or that arrow so you can distinguish between those but there was a lot of really cool weapons but not enough space to put them in okay so, so you, you when, actually had to kind of go into a menu yes sometimes you had to switch things out depending yeah. and that that made it a little bit challenging from time to time but it wasn't bad i had my favorites and basically stuck with those unless i knew i was coming up yeah. on a, an opponent or where i would have to change something it didn't really factor in a whole lot for me it it felt really fluid like all the dodging, all the um, weapon mechanics, like it, it felt really, really solid. Okay. I I loved it. It didn't feel like I had to struggle to learn any of the mechanics. 
but they did have little training spots that you could go. Typically, yeah. Yeah, so there was like, like most games, and they would give you award you kind of prizes or leveling systems within that when you would go to these training places you would get points to level up in your skill tree so that was nice i didn't visit a whole lot of them i i, I have a hard time with side questing so i was just like oh whatever let's go get this shit done and i spent yeah. more a lot of my resources buying stuff from merchants than trying to level up in different level. ways okay. yeah i didn't want to have to scavenge for a lot of stuff so i'm like i got a lot of money from this let's go buy that that did get me into hot, some hot water where I got a little bit low on metal shards towards the end of the game because I was using a lot of them with them with uh, you know going to the merchants and and buying stuff and leveling up that way instead of finding resources in the wild. So I don't know. You maybe learn from my mistakes and <laughs> and go through it a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. Graphics. It's like. Anybody that says this game is not beautiful, I don't know. What, what games are you playing? Like, if, if you don't think this is a beautiful game. From what I've seen, it looks great. It and is. It's four years old now. Yeah. Um, you played it on the PS4 Pro. I did p play it on the PS4 Pro. Um, I don't think that would make much of a difference anyway. Even if you does. had a base model PS4, I don't know if it would be any different if we threw it in the PS5. I don't, I just, I don't I, know. I don't think it would. Um, I loved the diversity of the map. Graphically, oh, yeah. you had like these oh, mountain ranges, and it, it would be snowing. 3D kind of. Right? Yes. Yeah. But di just different places you could go where you'd be like up in the peaks of a mountain, and it would be snowing, and it, and then you'd be like in these like lush green valleys, and that would be cool. Or you would feel like you were in the desert or in Utah or something, and it would just be like rocks, like red rocks, and and stuff like that. And then the water was really cool. Yeah. And or when you would go to like down in the depths where the machines lived and and try to it was so diverse graphically that I just constantly felt myself looking just around. A lot at of the different world. environments. There was. There was. Okay. I was constantly looking around in the world just checking things out. I'm like, that looks so realistic or this looks okay. really cool. Another thing I liked about the graphics too. Normally, your main protagonist in the game will be this jacked-up person, and Aloy wasn't that. She no. Now, when you would strip down her um, armor and stuff, she was just this, like, young adult. She wasn't muscly, and I liked that it gave that backstory where she had to train to get where she was. Then I understood why she looked the way she did. Because oh, yeah. most of your characters are like these, you know what I mean? In most games. Rugged. Rugged character. Survival of the fittest. Yeah, she was surviving because of her skills. So, I, I don't know. I, I enjoyed that part of it. I just thought she was a badass. I don't know if this is a little off topic, but because she was a female character, did you enjoy that more? That it doesn't never, really matter. It never really factors in for me. No. Um, it's gameplay and uh, graphics tend to get me I'm a in the lot. same boat. I don't care if it's no. male, female, dinosaur, no. alien. I don't care. As long as it handles well, I don't care who I'm playing as. Yeah. As long I mean, as I you... play games where I'm a baby, so... Well, yeah, as long as you can get invested in the character. Yeah, then that's matters. all that matters. Yeah. We're going to move on to music and sound. No complaints there either. It, now, it was very fitting for the world. You nothing have these like, machiny sounds, yeah, mechanical sounds. Well, a lot of ambient sounds that fits the yes. atmosphere. But as far as music, I don't like. I, I didn't watch a whole lot of you play, but coming down, I didn't really. Oh, that's that's cool. Yeah, you know? and I think that you get that more from an older game. Yeah. But when we're talking music and sound, I guess you can throw voice acting in there because that that's mm -hmm. sound, right? The voice acting on. For the most part, mean? was amazing. Good I, yeah, I know some people oh, picked apart myself. some of the voice actors in from other reviews I've watched. Two days I, until I get answers. It didn't really affect me. I I didn't really notice it. I was like, oh, that's a little bit weird. But I it was like quick to move on from that. Yeah. Yeah, I I loved every little bit of it. Like I said, I loved those mechanical sounds when you're fighting the robots. I loved. Like just the background noise of like the water running and, yeah. and stuff like that. The ambient sounds. Yeah, the yeah. ambient sounds. And like Scott said, unless it's 
really off. You don't really notice those things in a new game. I think if you if you're not noticing it, it's good. It's a good thing. It's good. Unless you notice it for the right reasons. Exactly. Yeah. And then we're going to go to value and replayability. Well. So on the value side, <laughs> it's probably like a $10 game. Yes. So. It's it's very cheap. Yeah. Um, Replayability. Well, I'll tell you right now. I went into the last battle. Um, I almost went into the last battle at a level 26. It says you should be at a level 34. That tells you how much I didn't side quest. I could go <laughs> back and play hours upon hours. I'm, I'm sure there's hundreds of hours I missed out on playing oh, on that game. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. I, did, I did get scared at that last little bit when it said, are you sure? Do you want to stop here? That. And I was like, no. So I did go back and level up to like level 32 and did a lot of those side quests that I had missed. Okay. And then realized there's so, so much more that I missed that mm -hmm. I could go back and play. My only concern is that it saves you before you go into that, <clears throat> it, when you go into that last part, I'm worried I can't go back before that and go back and do, because the first and the last part of the story kind of plays out the same way, mm. where you're driven kind of linear. You're driven linear in the first, you're driven linear in the last, because there's Good. certain things you have to do to finish it, and there's certain things you have to do to open the game. So it's not like God of War, where you finish the story and then you can actually continue on it didn't, in the world. It didn't feel like that no. from, like, when I finished the game, then it popped up a screen and said, would you like to go back? to the last save point and redo the last mission. And I was like, ideally I would go back before that yeah, and do some of those side quests I missed. So I might be wrong. That might just be something I missed. I'm going to have to go back and check it out. Yeah. But I really so, enjoyed it enough that I could go back and Let me and ask, play. do you know how many hours you put into that game? I would say I was probably in the... 30, 40 hour yep. range. I, and you probably could have put double. Oh, easily could have put double. Yeah. Easily could have put double. I know I kept hounding Dennis. I'm like, are you done yet? Are you done yet? Because I want to talk with him about the end of the <laughs> game. Is he done yet? He is done. Okay. Yeah. And I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So I'm nope. not going to talk about the end of the game. No. But that end of the game. The end of the game, like you told me, like you were liking it up until the yes. end of the game and then when you finished the game you came upstairs and you were just like <gasps> oh yeah oh my god yes it absolutely made it for you it did yeah. and i guess if we're getting into that we should get into overall which is overall. the last category yep overall probably for the first 20 hours of the game i was like this is a pretty good game i yep. like it the last 10 hours of the game or even the last five hours pushed me over the edge of okay, I don't really just like this game. I love this game. This is a great game. Yeah. So much so that it just went up for pre-order and had to pre-order the next one. <laughs> because of that, and I'm not going to give it away, but because of that last scene in the game. Don't spoil it for yourself. Don't go look it up no. on YouTube. Go play the game. Yeah. The last scene, I'm sure he could hear me downstairs. I yelled, what? And I yelled it out loud yeah, because yeah. I was like, this I can't believe this just happened. This is about 11 o'clock at night, happened. if not later. Yeah. After I got off well, work. Well, like, I, I knew I was so close to the end of the game. I'm like, yeah. I have to finish it at this point. Yeah. I can't you go to bed. You might have even been pushing midnight at that I might have been pushing yeah. midnight, which made for a really early waking up the next morning at like six something going, oh my God, I just, <laughs> like, my eyes are sore from playing that game for the last six hours. It pushed it over to the edge where I, it's... I know we loved it. Well, I loved it. I, I really loved it. it was I've a good game. heard nothing but good things about it. I know. But you still wouldn't recommend for me to play it. Is that because we had this discussion right before? Wow. Well, you don't think I'd like it? I, yeah. I I keep going back and forth because I'm kind of noticing games I thought you would love and games I thought you would hate are very different. That now. could be a whole video series itself. That could be. <laughs> it's it's this has kind of opened my mind yeah. where I'm like, some days I'm like, eh, I don't know. And then other days I'm like, well, he might really appreciate it. Mm, he, maybe. You might have a maybe. better appreciation for it than I, I previously thought you would. So I don't know. Might be something you might want to play. All right. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, guys. 
thank you so much for sticking through the entire review. Um, I, if you like open world games, uh, if you like beautiful games, if you like games Great with a good story, story yeah, you pick this up. It's super cheap. And then you'll be forced to order the, uh, the next <laughs> one. <laughs> You're better <laughs> off. Yeah, you can wait. You can wait on that yeah, one. Yeah, that's true. All right, guys. Until next time, game on. Game on.